since last Saturday, the wind has been howling from the north. And the surf is so rough, uh, there's no sense in trying to go in the ocean at this point. So I went inland to a freshwater lake today. I'm heading down a sand gravel embankment and you can see some of the silt as I get down there. It's about a 45 degree angle and uh, it levels off at about 20 feet. This is very different than saltwater hunting. You can see there's probably about two to three inches of silt on top of heavy mud and I'm just plowing the coil through the silt and uh, I could feel the mud bottom underneath it. The trick here is to move the target, get it out of the hole and get it to the point where you put your coil in the hole, you don't hear anything, and then go over your hand. And uh, Once you have it in your hand, you try to bring it up out of the muck so you could actually try to see the target. This target's pretty shallow. Uh, there's quite a range. A lot of them were down deep in the mud, and some of them were only a couple inches down, like this one. This one had the hooks intact, so in the bag it goes.
A few times I got tangled up for a second with some old fishing line. Instead of wasting air trying to find the target in my hand, I found it easier just to dump the whole clump of mud in the mesh bag and I'll look at it later. You get the idea here. I was down in the muck for about an hour and a half and all I did was throw clumps of mud in that mesh bag the whole time. Uh, didn't see a whole lot, but uh, I knew I had a lot of targets. So it was gonna be interesting at the end to see what was there. This one was real interesting. It was a solid hit that was very deep. So I had to dig down quite a ways in the muck for this one. And uh, I actually was able to see it once I got it out because I felt it in my hand uh, as I was clawing through the mud. Um, almost thought it was a rock and then I realized that was the signal. an old copper eagle that was mounted on something. You can see this place was loaded with coins, most of them 60s and 70s. Um, that one D target, that one eagle, uh, you can see a picture here uh, before it was cleaned and then after it was cleaned. 
I'm going to try to get in the salt water again in the next couple of days. Let's just hope the weather cooperates.